bit of a rookie video mistake. I forgot to turn the microphone on, so I'm just going to explain what I've done so far. Um, I used some rubber legs like you'd put on a hopper fly or other terrestrial flies. We got our uh, chenille and used the Bic lighter to, to burn it right here. This is ultra chenille, so it's nice, tight, and compact. And so now, we are going to finish this part of it off with our trusty whip finisher. And then from here, we're gonna put in a little bit of color. This time I'm gonna use some uh, brown UV glue from Loon. And that's what I like about fly tying is you can get pretty creative with what you do. So I'm actually gonna put just a couple little brown spots in this now just to give it a little bit different color. I'm gonna turn this around. I'm actually gonna do the whole bottom of this G-snail in brown. Just like so. Turn it back around. Now we're going to build up the actual shell portion. So this is uh, thick UV glue. And the more you do this, the better you'll get at it. But I have my light on and ready to go. And then I put just a nice round glob of that on first and then put a little bit bigger glob on next kind of let it settle in I actually like how that brown's kind of showing through this fly what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to tip this fly up a little bit and that way my glue won't run down over my eye on my hook so it makes it a little bit hard to tie on when you do that okay so when you put them on in big globs like that you can see how it kind of segments it I'm not quite cured on that one. There, that's better. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut our little antennas down a little bit. Even them out. I think what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of brown there on the end. It looks a little more gummy under there. Kind of almost like it's poking out of its shell a little bit. Alright, so that is our G-Snell. Let's go ahead and spin it around. You can see it's kind of got the gummy underbody. Cool little antenna. I like that brown and olive look. Looks nice and natural. I really can't wait to go out and try these this spring and summer and see if we can't catch the big fish on them. So thank you for watching our Fanaticals YouTube channel. And please like and subscribe at the bottom. And can't wait to upload our next video. Thank you for watching.